Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are emulsifying up a batch of goji and acai superfood face cream. The heated phase for this formulation includes four ingredients. 1.25 grams of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate emulsifies this face cream and is a huge part of the reason it is so light. To learn more about this awesome emulsifier, please watch the recent deep dive video I did all about it. Our star emollient is eight grams of acai berry oil. Acai berry oil is a really unique carrier oil with an unusually high palmitic acid content and great antioxidant activity. Now, if we stopped there with just those two ingredients, this cream would be so thin that it would split. So we need to add some body. Two grams of cetyl alcohol boosts viscosity, improves slip, and contributes a gorgeous powdery skin feel. I recently did a deep dive into this ingredient as well, so check that out if you want to learn more. I further boosted the viscosity of this cream with 0.3 grams of polyacrylate cross polymer 6, also known as Cephamax Zen, which gives this formulation a bit of a gel cream feel. It isn't oil soluble, so it's not going to melt into the oil phase, but I like putting it in the oil phase because it can't clump there. It'll disperse and hydrate beautifully when we combine the heated oil and water phases later in the formulation. Our heated water phase also features four ingredients. 20 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid stock gives this formulation fabulous hydrating properties. To learn how to make your very own 1% hyaluronic acid solution, please watch the video tutorial I shared on this back in 2018. Five grams of vegetable glycerin further boosts the moisturizing awesomeness of this formulation, and 1% of panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, adds both moisturizing and skin soothing goodness. 57.65 grams of distilled water wraps up our heated water phase. The cool down phase also features four ingredients and it is rich in antioxidants. You'll need two grams of vitamin E, also known as tocopherol, which is a potent antioxidant that helps protect our skin from environmental damage. I've also included two grams of black goji extract, which is rich in antioxidants and helps boost the moisturizing properties of the cream. 0.3 grams of elantoin adds skin soothing and protecting benefits. Elantoin is only water soluble to about 0.5 so I've calculated the amount to be soluble in the amount of water that's present in this formulation. There's more information on this in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia entry on Elantoin. I've never had any issues with the Elantoin dissolving or feeling shardy when calculated in this way. And lastly, 0.5 grams of Liquid Germal Plus preserves this formulation. If you would like to use a different preservative, I have a whole FAQ on things to think through as you are doing that, so please check that out. If you'd like to learn more about this formulation, including substitutions and places to buy the ingredients, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. To make this formulation, begin by combining the ingredients for the heated oil phase and the heated water phase in two separate heat resistant glass measuring cups or beakers. Weigh the water phase and write that weight down somewhere so that you can replace any water lost to evaporation during heat. Heat both phases through with a water bath. A simple flat bottom saute pan or frying pan with about an inch or three centimeters of water in it will do the trick nicely. Simply pop both beakers in your water bath and put the water bath on your stove top over medium-ish heat for about 20 minutes until the settle alcohol and the emulsifier have melted and both phases are the same temperature. When you're done with heating, remove the water bath from the heat and then remove your phases from the water bath. Weigh the water phase and use a bit of preheated distilled water to top it back up to that weight you wrote down earlier. Up next, pour the water phase into the oil phase. Give that a bit of a stir and then grab your immersion blender. Blend the emulsion for about a minute and then switch back to hand stirring. You'll need to be pretty diligent with the hand stirring until the mixture has gained some viscosity so it doesn't split on you. But once you have reached trace, you can set the emulsion aside and just kind of come back and stir it every five minutes or so until it has cooled to room temperature. While the emulsion is cooling, weigh out your cool down phase into a small bowl if you haven't done that already. Once the cream has cooled to room temperature, add a dollop of it to that little bowl with your cool down phase and whisk to combine. Once that mixture is nice and smooth, scrape it back into the big batch of lotion and stir to combine and that's pretty much it. For packaging, this emulsion is thin enough to work in a treatment pump bottle, but it would also work well in a normal pump bottle or a squeeze tube. I think it's a bit thin for a jar or a tub, but that will work in a pinch. Use this goji and acai superfood face cream as you'd use any face cream. I like to use it as the last step in my skincare routine after cleansing and serums. If you'd like to learn more about the emulsifier we use today, click here. And if you'd like to learn more about subtle alcohol, click here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.